Hello guys, and yes, reading the video description, I assume you already figured out that Undercover with a Cat is finally back. Uh, I think this was one of my more popular series because people were always asking me what happened to it. So yeah, after a fairly needed break, I suppose, I can finally announce that yes, it's back. But before I actually get into the point of the video and my question for you guys today, uh, there is a couple of things that I have to address first. First of all, the gameplay is just one of those old gameplays that I found laying around in my theater. Uh, it's nothing too spectacular, but it's um, it's okay, I guess. Um, it, it's a little slow at first, but it does pick up towards the end, like most of my gameplays. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I actually have an announcement to make. I have finally, finally figured out what I really want to do with my channel. About fucking time, cat. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with my decision and I think that I'm doing this for a very good reason. And what I want to do is I want to stop doing Let's Plays. Now hear me out before you go all, oh my god, unsub, unsub. <laughs> um, nah, you're not going to do that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Let's Playing has never really been something that I wanted to do with my channel. It was just something that I did to start out. Um, the way I see it, this channel is a little gaming community, you know? You guys watch me and I like to, I try to interact with you, but... Oh, by the way, before I actually continue, I just have to say, if you're watching this video, please let me know. Please show your support. I don't know, say hi, drop me a like, just say something. Let me know that you're here, because sometimes I look at the amount of subscribers and I wonder where half of these people are. So please, 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 if you're watching this, um, show your support. It would really, really mean the world to me. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so we're a little community. And um, I feel that if I do Let's Plays, I limit my interaction with you guys. Um, because I know there's many different ways to do Let's Plays, but the way I see it, Let's Playing is kind of a static thing, and I don't want this channel to be static. Um, I want to get to the point where I can talk to you guys, where I can have a laugh with you guys, I can play with you guys, I can ask you guys a bunch of questions, and you know we can get some interesting dialogue going between us. Um, that is the type of stuff I want to do. And Let's Playing, I just feel, hinders me in a lot of ways. Um, I'm also trying to get some collaborations going with other YouTubers. So I'm going to be looking at some, you know, people that I maybe can collaborate with. Um, ideally, I could get together with a bunch of people and we could all just, you know, have a really good time and laugh and just have the best time ever. And, um, you know, if we have a good time, I'm guessing people are also going to enjoy watching us. So, yeah. That's, that, that's something that I'm also really hoping to do. So yeah, this channel will be a lot less static and a lot more interactive. Um, now, I'm not trying to bash on Let's Players. I know there's amazing Let's Players out there. I'm just saying, I don't think that's for me. I think there's a lot more that I could do with my channel and being creative and all that stuff. So yeah, um, I'm going to focus more on entertainment videos, obviously, and making, I guess, funny videos. Now I know that funny is a very subjective term, but I'm guessing if the people that are playing are having fun, um, other people are also very likely to enjoy it, so yeah. Um, I'm also going to be doing the occasional help video because sometimes I do figure out stuff that I think other people can learn something from, so yeah. Uh, definitely going to be doing that type of stuff. Uh, also, since I am a musician, you can definitely expect the occasional game cover or even original song. But um, since those things do take a lot of time, guys, um, don't hold your breath. It might take a while before I actually get something like that going. I do have some plans, but yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm really hoping that this, these changes will be good for my channel. I do think they will. I just have to get some stuff going, and I'm just sick of the staleness of Let's Playing. It's just not for me, you know? That's what I decided. Um, so hopefully this place will be a lot more focused. <laughs> All right, so my subject for today is uh, lately, since I've been playing a lot of Daisy, uh, and you know, there's these classic heroes and bandits, which is you know classic good versus evil. Um, it got me thinking a lot about good versus evil in games, and just the portrayal of typically good and typically evil. And uh, I want to ask you guys: Is there a specific type of, I guess, attitude, or I don't know what to call it? Um, alignment that you like to stick with in games do you like to be good do you like to be do you like to be a goody two shoes do you like to be an evil <laughs> bastard or do you like to be something in between and also uh why what's your take on this good versus evil thing i mean do you think something is overdone do you think something could be done a lot better 
why do you think that uh, people stick with one particular side? I mean, do you think it has to do with the fact that these are games and people try to live out their fantasies, you know, because they're limited in life by laws and obviously not wanting to kill someone and all that crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, please, please let me know, you know, drop, drop a, a comment or something in the section. I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Uh, as for me, I have to say that I, I think I tend to prefer a sort of intermediate thing. I don't like to be typically goody two shoes or <laughs> evil. You know, I, I'm not. I believe in a healthy mix. Uh, the reason being because I think a lot of people see good and evil as something very black and white. Now I disagree. Um, the reason being because depending on the context, a typically evil action can be quite good actually, and it, this vice versa as well, obviously. Um, I mean, think of Robin Hood, for instance. Now, this is kind of a stupid example, but it works. <laughs> um, he steals, right? So stealing is normally something that's considered evil. But if you think about who he's stealing from and who he's giving this stolen stuff to, which is the poor people, I mean, that, that's just, it suddenly, you know, it suddenly changes meaning. It's not so evil all of a sudden. Um, and I just think a lot of people overdo this thing in games where they think that evil is all about killing. Now, I freaking disagree. Um, now, I'm saying this again because of Daisy, because a lot of people seem to think, Oh, I'm a badass bandit, because I'm killing a bunch of people as soon as I see them. No, that is not being a good evil person. That is not, you're not doing evil right. Evil is about so much more. I mean, killing is about the most boring things you can do as an evil character, guys. I definitely think so. Um, you can freak them out, you can intimidate them, you can manipulate them, you can scare them. You can be a total freaking psychopath. I mean, there's so much more that I think an evil character could do. And again, uh, also the mixture between good and evil actions, obviously. But yeah, there's just so much more things that an evil character could do besides killing. And th the same thing goes for good people, you know? It it's not just about helping everyone and rescuing damsel damsels in distress. It's nothing like that, you know? Um, so, I, I, don't, I don't know, I just really hope that this good versus evil attitude starts changing because it's getting a little boring. So yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comment section and thank you for watching. This has been today's episode. And goodbye!